Let's take a look at this problem. We want to find the number of units X that produces the minimum average cost per unit. And uh, if we come up decimals around like normal. So C is equal to 0.01X squared plus 4X plus 70. And our formula for the min minimum average cost is C bar is equal to C over X. So let's find that first. C bar is equal to 0.01x squared plus 4x plus 70 all over x. Now since we've got a single term down the denominator, we'll split them up into separate fractions to make the uh, derivative easier. So we've got 0.01x squared over x plus 4x over x plus 70 over x, which gives us 0.01x plus 4, plus 70x to the negative 1. Okay, now we want to find our derivative with respect to x. So 0.01x just becomes 0 0.01, 4 drops away, plus 70, take your power, put it out in front, lower it by 1. So that gives us 0 0.01 uh, minus 70x to the negative 2, and take the x and negative 2 to the denominator. So we've got 0 0.01 minus 70 over x squared. Now um, we want to get, uh, merge those into a single fraction. So we'll have 0 0.01 over 1 minus 70 over x squared. In our first fraction, we multiply the top and bottom by x squared. And we've got 0 0.01 x squared over x squared minus 70 over x squared, which then gives us 0 0.01 x squared minus 70 over x squared, and that's our derivative. Now um, we want to set our top part equal to 0 and bottom part equal to 0, so we've got 0 0.01 x squared minus 70 equal to 0, and we got x squared is equal to 0. Now the x squared is equal to 0. Um, if we drop the squared, we'd have x equals 0, and that doesn't make any sense. We don't want any uh, 0 values for x. We don't want any negative values for x. This other one. Um, we've got 0 0.01x squared. Take the negative 70 to the right side. becomes a positive 70. Divide both sides by 0.01. I'm not very good with decimals. I think that's 7,000, but let me go look. 70 divided by 0 0.01, 7,000. Okay. Then the square root property says if you got something squared equal to something else, you drop your squared and you put a plus or minus square root around the other side. Now the negative will drop, because again, we don't want negative units. But let's see what square root of 7,000 gives us. So second x squared, 7,000, enter. And we'll round it like normal. 83.6 uh, rounds to 84. So we've got 84 units. Now we'll build a table of intervals. Clear over here is x equals negative infinity or x equals zero, whichever you choose. Clear over here is b positive infinity. I want to choose test cases. Something between zero and 84, like one. Something greater than 84, but easy to work with, like 100. We want to plug those into our derivative. Now here's our derivative here. I don't need to worry about the bottom part, because the bottom part is x squared. Well, when you score something, it's always positive. So we'll just plug it in the top part. So I got 0 0.01 times 1 squared minus 70, and 0 0.01 times 100 squared minus 70. Well, 1 squared is 1, times 0 0.01 is 0 0.01, minus 70 is negative, so it's decreasing. 100 squared is, um, let's see, 10,000, I think. Yeah, 10,000. Uh, 10,000 times 0.01 is 100, I believe. 100 minus 70 is um, 
positive, so it's increasing. So this is indeed a min. And all they're wanting is the number of units. So we've got x is equal to 84. Now I'm not really worried about if I got this correct over here or not. Because I know if I change this instead of 1,000, I change it to 1 million. Well, 1 million squared times 0.01 minus 70 is positive. And all we really care about is a sign. So we don't have to get real precise on the value. X equals 84 is our answer.